Welcome to Changsha. Changsha is the provincial capital of Hunan, with a population of around six million. It was here that the communist revolutionaries first got their start, being the town where Mao Zedong attended university and very near his hometown. People say that spicy food of Hunan, second only to Sichuan, has something to do with this. Changsha today is not much of an industrial city. Its main attractions are the many universities and colleges scattered throughout the city. The major form of transportation here is the bus system, which is quite convenient since the buses come so frequently. People also ride scooters, motorcycles, and cars. You must be careful though, because these vehicles often travel on the sidewalks and drive into the people. Remember, vehicles will not stop for you when you cross the street, so watch out. <coughs> The weather in Changsha can fluctuate greatly in just one day. Even though it never gets colder than a few degrees below zero, you'll still feel extremely cold. The wetness makes it much cooler, and there aren't heaters in most places you go. On a few occasions, there might even be snow. Besides the chilly weather, Changsha is also one of the three hottest cities in China. Come April, you'll feel like you've walked into a sauna. And by July and August, it can feel like 52 degrees Celsius. The streets of Changsha can be very crowded when the students go for lunch and dinner. Street vendors are extremely popular, and many people go there for cheap and fast food. However, most of the food you see in Changsha is almost always spicy and oily. Make sure you let them know if you don't want it too hot. I often found that the restaurants in Changsha cook relatively the same kind of dishes, so if you memorize some of your favorite ones, you will be able to order those without much of a problem. After living in China for a while, you'll start to crave for some Western food. Since there aren't any Western restaurants, your next stop would have to be McDonald's, KFC, or Pizza Hut. Remember, though, the food made in China is never quite the same. Like most places in southern China, Changsha has its own dialect. The Changsha dialect is quite different from standard Mandarin, and even the Chinese students from other parts of China cannot understand it. However, if you are able to speak Mandarin, you'll get along fine. One tip that many people will offer you is to take care of your belongings. There are many thieves on the streets and on the buses. What they want the most is money and cell phones. Make sure you know where everything is and look around you for any suspicious people. You must always be alert. Here are some impressions of Changsha from people who have come before. Why did I come here? Um, just for something different, a different experience, a new culture to travel. And just to see the world and get some perspective, see somewhere different. I came to Changsha because the temperature looked temperate, and Harbin looked very cold. Changsha offered more travel opportunities. Why did I come to Changsha? I came to Changsha because I like to travel, and uh, I thought it'd be a good way to finish off the Masters of Teaching program by teaching in China. This would be interesting. Um, I decided to come to Changsha because it's a different experience, um, something new.、Uh, I like to travel, and I thought this would be much better than Harbin. I didn't think I could stay in Calgary for the fourth semester because I had enough Calgary, I think. Come with a lot of patience. For your fellow travelers, as well as the people that you meet, because it's not a lot of foreigners here, so you will get stared at a lot, and、uh, kind of.
kind of feel like a bit of a celebrity <laughs> at times. So be patient and uh, uh, take it for what it is. It's a great experience and uh, it's really interesting to live in a different culture. And bring warm clothes because it's going to be a lot colder than uh, I think I know I anticipated and I think most of the other Canadians anticipated as well. What difficulties have I encountered? Um, I think some difficulties just include learning how to haggle um, and how to make sure you're not being taken advantage of. Um, I would uh, advise sweaters because it's not very cold but the heating is not very adequate. Um, other tips, lots of reading. Um, DVDs you can buy here so you're good covered for television and entertainment. Um, that's about it. And preparation for teaching, your students will be like high school or junior high students in behavior. And you unfortunately have to treat them as such. Just general safe traveling. I had an incident last year uh, where my purse was stolen, uh, which was my own fault. I put my purse down and looked away for five seconds and it was gone. So just basically um, be aware of your personal belongings and just, just be safe. Uh, I didn't realize what a dirty place this was. <coughs> That's pretty common. <laughs> um, you'll see mothers holding up their children to defecate on the ground. It's kind of strange. It's really polluted. Um, it's just really different from what I used to, but um, it's been a fantastic experience and I'm really enjoying it. So. Although this is not always the most convenient place to live, the students appreciate having English-speaking teachers very much. I think foreign teachers are always very friendly and passionate. They can teach, teach us a lot about a Western culture and people's life and uh, uh, some background information. I, I think uh, what the most important lesson I can learn from foreign teachers is their independence. Uh, you can see on, on their way, they often hurry to their classrooms or their home. They always do things by, their, by themselves. Um, uh, take, just, uh, take traveling for example, they like to travel by themselves um, because they want to uh, absorb some experience. And there are also some, uh, we can also learn some uh, colloquial English um, because, uh, because um, maybe our Chinese teacher could, couldn't um, teach us um, this, this uh, colloquial English. Uh, a second is, there, uh, is that uh, his uh, uh, body language is so colorful and uh, uh, every class he can stimulate us to uh, participate in his class and I think uh, it is very interesting. Um, I'm very glad that these days we have our foreign teacher accompany with us with our English study. I really uh, learned a lot from them. In the past we always uh, learn English uh, more passively. But, they all, um, but our foreign teachers always try to encourage us to express ourselves and um, we are no longer shy than before. Um, and I think from the foreigners, we can not only learn the idiomatic Indian language, the languages that are different from our native language, but also the, uh, we can experience the impact of, of different cultures and uh, the new ways of uh, thinking of matter, and new ways of matter. Uh, that's all. Overall, I found that Changsha is a convenient place to live. Getting around, eating, and shopping are relatively easy to do. Besides some obvious staring, the people can be very friendly and helpful. The weather is probably the hardest thing to adjust to, but it's possible. The best advice I can give you is to keep an open mind and enjoy the time you're here. This is an experience you'll never forget. Oh, I need, I need you,